Are you looking for your missing link to learn the mountain bike skills you've always wanted to learn? Well, here it is. Hi, my name is Roxy. Welcome to this episode. I'm an international instructor trainer for the BICP and I've been a full-time mountain bike coach for many years, coaching all levels of riders. And over the years, I've found out that a lot of people don't really know how skills are kind of built up in order to reach the skill you want and they're missing the understanding of what I call the skills algorithm or skills pyramid. In this video, I'd like to share this pyramid with you because I think it's one of the most essential parts to learn any skill you want to learn. I have developed this skills pyramid with my colleague Bernie in years of experience and exchange with other coaches also from other sports, so not only in mountain biking. Because to tell you the truth, to learn motor skills, the same principles apply no matter if you're learning mountain biking or tennis or dancing. So any type of motor skill acquisition obviously is based on the same rules. If you want to find out more about how learning works, I already have a video about that, then you can check it out. Just open it in a new tab and watch it later. Basically, there are five different elements to learning any skill. The first one is strength. The second one is flexibility. If you want to work on your flexibility, check the description below because I have a course for mountain bikers. The third one is mindset. You actually need to have a beginner's mindset, so you have to be open to learn. The fourth one is the skills, the specific skills, and that is what we are looking at today in this video. And the fifth one is coordination. So you have to be able to coordinate your body. Actually, everything you learn, every movement you learn is actually just a matter of coordinating your body. I have chosen a pyramid for this skills algorithm because everything at the base of your pyramid leads to everything at the top. Now the problem is that everyone wants to learn the cool skills which are at the top of the pyramid but they're omitting or they're, they're neglecting the base of the pyramid. And just like if you build a house on a missing or a wobbly foundation, your house will collapse. That's what happens to the skills pyramid. If you build it up on a wobbly foundation, the pyramid will collapse. And that's why many, many riders I see hit a plateau. They stagnate at a specific level because they're practicing at a too advanced level omitting or neglecting the foundation and that's why they don't progress and the only way you can then progress is by regressing to progress and the reason for this is mostly that people don't even know a lot of coaches that i have trained don't know this and then they are always themselves practicing on the advanced level and also training their students on a too advanced level which is why there is little or no progress that's why i want to share this algorithm or skills pyramid with you today. So let's look at the skills pyramid. If you would like to use the skills pyramid for your students or share it with others, please ask me for written permission before you do so. So at the base of the pyramid, you have body position and pressure control. I have a really detailed tutorial about the body position already, which I am linking right now. You can open it in a new tab and watch it later because body position is the base of the pyramid. If your body position is off, if you've misunderstood what actually happens when you're riding a mountain bike, everything else can not work. Then we have pressure control. Pressure control sounds a little weird, but actually pressure control is what determines whether you have traction or not. If you are just minimally off in your position, as in you have too much weight in your hand, you have too little weight in your hand, you're not balanced on your feet, then you will not have pressure control, you will not have traction. This sounds kind of abstract, but once you've felt what it means to be balanced on your bikes and not needing the handlebar to find and keep your balance, that's when you will really understand. Watch my video about body positioning because I go into that a little more and I will also talk about this in the course of this video a little more too. 
The next level, as you can see, is braking, slow speed skills, bike body separation and dismounting and restart. Uh, dismounting and restarting is something that is very often um, actually just omitted because people don't think about how important it is but this is super important for your mind to have a plan B. I already have tutorials about that if you don't know them out yet then check them out. Bike body separation means that you want to stay stable and let your bike move beneath you like you can see me doing right now. Then slow speed skills are any skills you need when you're riding slowly. So as soon as you're taking speed out, which is, can be stabilizing, but it can also mask your errors. So slow speed skills are super important to refine your foundation, to refine your fundamentals. Braking, obviously, if you're not in co control of your brakes, how do you ever want to ride fast? You can ride fast, but how can you ever safely slow down or stop? So braking is something, and especially the modulation of your brakes, is something that is so underrated and a really big building block of your skills pyramid. Next is track stand, roll downs, and clearing obstacles. Track stand, super, super underrated. I have a tutorial about it, which I'm linking right now. If you are not able to track stand, you will most probably be lacking the fine coordination in your legs, which are really needed to, once again, keep up pressure control. If you get out of balance when you're performing a roll down, then if you have several roll downs, you will get out of balance. So it will be hard for you to find and keep your balance, which in turn will not enable you to keep pressure control. So all this interrelates and that's why you will most probably not be able to clear obstacles. So as I was saying before, the higher levels of the pyramid link to the lower, lower levels of the pyramid. And I'll show you a section of me riding a technical piece of trail right now and we'll look at it in detail for you to really understand what I mean. Entering this steep and loose slab, I need optimal body position and pressure control with really modulated braking. If my body position or pressure control were off, for example, because I moved my weight back instead of staying balanced, then my front wheel would slip before even entering the slab. The moment my front wheel drops into the steep, I need bike body separation and roll down. At the end of the steep, there is a really harsh transition, so I need a solid body position, pressure control, and braking. So you can see that this double black section is basically just a combination of fundamentals. In the next level of the pyramid, we have wheel lifts, tight turns, and cornering. Of course, you can practice tight turns and cornering without having practiced all the others, but that's where the problem starts. And that's where I have lots of riders who practice tight turns, practice cornering, and of course they will get around the corner, but since they're lacking the lower levels of the pyramid or of the algorithm, they are off balance. That's why they lose traction on their front wheel or they start to grab and let go of their brakes because they're not they don't have the fine coordination in their braking and that's why their front wheel turns and fall, they fall. So a lot of crashes actually show us that we are lacking the fundamentals. They are like a wake up call. So I like to say a crash is actually an opportunity. It is a wake up call for you to see, okay, there's something wrong, there's something off. Let me regress to progress. So right at the top of the pyramid, you have air and tech. And I've separated this into air and tech because these are actually skills that are based on the lower levels of the pyramid, but you can reach one without reaching the other. So you can be an amazing jumper, an amazing air skilled rider without being tech skilled. Meaning you can from there, as soon as you have your really solid foundations build up to become an air aware rider or you can build up to become a tech aware rider. I also sometimes like to say you can either start to ride fast or you can start to ride really techy and not necessarily fast but also slow. That's what I love doing. I love riding really techy trails. They don't have to be fast as long as they're chunky and blocked. I love them. So these are the two sections of the pyramid that now you can either decide to do both or 
just one, but both of them are based on the lower levels of the pyramid. So in the tech section of the pyramid, you have really big obstacles and you have very, very tight turns, turns and also fast cornering, but also trial skills like nose pivot turns, rocking and hopping and all those really stylish skills. And as I was saying before, a lot of people start practicing these skills without practicing the others, either because they don't know or because they think, ah, I don't need that. Why would I need a track stand? Or why would I need slow speed skills? Why do I have to practice braking? Or how do I practice braking? And this is where a professional coach really comes into play and where only few sessions can make a huge difference because you understand how it works and then you can apply it and you can practice those things that will really bring you progress. It's like adding the missing links in a chain that you keep strengthening the strong links of your chain, but as, soon, as long as you still have links missing, your chain will always snap. And that's where a coach can really help you to identify those missing links and then to strengthen those missing links to build a really solid chain. On the other side of the pyramid, in the air side, you have small drops, bunny hop, high drops and jumping. And obviously also these are really desirable skills to have. And of course you can reach them without focusing on the lower levels of the pyramid, but your skills will most probably be a little off, meaning that they are built on a wobbly foundation. The chances of getting hurt are much higher and they are usually not consistent. So one day it works, other day it doesn't, or you have the feeling that the bike is riding you. Those, those, are, those are really clear indications that you are missing a foundation. The problem is, and this is where I really want to be upfront with you, as long as you are practicing at the higher parts of the pyramid and you are lacking the foundation with every time you practice you are actually ingraining your bad habits you are automatizing the errors you have in your foundation with every practice so you are maneuvering yourself into a dead end with every practice because you are really automatizing these movements that are actually limiting you. These are usually compensatory habits because you are lacking the foundation. And that's why it's super, super useful to one, get a coach right when you're beginning a new sport and two, adopt a beginner's mindset. So be aware of the fact, okay, I might have missing foundations or missing links in my chain. Where can I get professional help to identify and to strengthen these missing links. To sum it up, if this algorithm or pyramid is applied, so this, if this order of learning skills is applied, your learning is much faster, much more efficient and much safer. And if you have noticed that maybe you have errors in your foundation, it's super wise to regress to progress and there is no other way to get to that tip of the pyramid if you already have errors. You need to regress to progress. And if you're a new rider, then start right at the base of your pyramid. You will progress much faster, much safer, and much more efficiently. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, buy me a coffee. The link is below. You can now become a patron on my Patreon channel to support me. Have a lovely day and see you again for my next video.